Okay, so this will show you how to paint a basic shadow into an image that has a white background that's all on one level. Uh, this is pretty much a beginner's tutorial. You don't really need many prerequisites except for a basic knowledge of Photoshop. And that's about it. So let's just get started. So we have here two different objects, one that has a solid base and one that is on legs. Um, both about the same difficulty level, but I'll take you through both just to show you exactly how it's done. So whenever we're dealing with images, the first thing we want to do is take it out of three-point perspective. So we're just going to slightly, you know, hit Control T to transform it, grab the edges, and kind of bring it back up into a straight vertical rather than having uh, bending edges. And we're going to do that so that everything, when presented on the site, looks consistent as opposed to, you know, looking at it from above and having it sort of recede into space as it goes down, it just makes the whole site look weird, the product look weird too. So we'll just adjust both of those really quick. We hit Control D to deselect it. And then what we're going to do is use the lasso in uh, polygon mode to select just the bottom of where the object sits. And we're going to select it in perspective. So we're just going to get a little square going like that. I'm going to create a layer on top could change this later and just put a straight black fill no big deal about that so then we're going to unlock the bottom layer put the fill underneath so it'll disappear and we're going to change the top to darken now what we can do is just reduce the bottom a little bit we're going to need to mask out the sections that are overlapping the object here. So we'll get it nice and close. And we're going to make a selection to just get the legs out. Obviously, the more complex the object, the longer that it'll take to do your quick mask. And there we go. So we have the areas selected. Now what we're going to do is just hit the little quick mask icon right here. And what that will do is drop... Whoops. Sorry, we want to inverse the selection first and then hit quick mask. And what that'll do is you can see drop out the areas um, behind the legs so that we don't see the darkened shadow where the legs are. Now you can always go in and make little adjustments with the brush. So you could select the, uh, the mask on the level and just use the brush tool. And if you're using the tablet, make sure you have pressure sensitivity selected up here. That's always a, a big thing that a lot of people tend to miss. So I can come in and I can just make some subtle adjustments just to get rid of that white so it doesn't look like it's glowing. It doesn't have to be too perfect because you're going to make this so light that you won't really notice that much white in it anyway. So we'll just lighten it a touch more. There we go. Now the next step is to use filters, blur, and we're going to select a motion blur. And we're going to blur this baby twice here. And when you do it, you want to make sure that you have the actual image selected on the level as opposed to the mask because you don't want to blur the mask that'll just screw things up so we'll select motion blur we're going to turn the distance right down and then we're going to want to make sure that we uh, 
that we do this in perspective. Just like that. And then we're going to do it again on the other axis. And we're going to line this angle up here with the actual angle of the table. There we go. Now you could see because I did the mask selection before the blur that it uh, it actually blurred out the edges there but that's not really a problem I guess for future reference you'll want to do that first or you could just come back in with your brush and fix it up really quick like I'm doing right now there we go now if you're feeling really adventurous, you can add another level to the bottom here and paint a little bit of black directly underneath the legs to make it look like it's sort of sitting on the plane. And then to make it look less jagged, this time around we'll use a Gaussian blur not too much there we go reduce the opacity again and there you go so there's one here's pretty much the same deal but you'll want to make sure because there's not a lot of white space around this object that we just increase the canvas size first So maybe make it 110% both ways. There we go. So once again, we'll unlock the level. And then this object is pretty cut and dry. The base is pretty much laid out for us, so we're just going to select around it create a level underneath, make the object into a darkened level, change to black, add the shadow, motion blur that puppy in both axes. And then now that we have it blurred out, we're going to select the object area. Inverse the selection with shift control I, and then hit quick mask, and there we go. Now once again, your selection is not always gonna be perfect, so we we'll wanna take our white, select the quick mask, and then just paint on those white areas with the tablet just to make sure the shadow lines up perfectly with the object. Now this is just a very basic type of area shadow. There's drop shadows which we try to avoid and uh, cast shadows which are pretty much the same thing. There we go, that looks decent. That makes the object look like it's actually sitting on the plane. And that's it.